Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. I'm going to come here with a quick one. Uh, so M20 is here, first Star City Games tournament of the weekend, and a good old classic one, Mono Red, Red Deck wins. Uh, but this is a slightly different variation. Uh, this is featuring a couple M20 cards at the forefront, and overall it's pretty budget, so if you're looking for something to take you through to rotation, this entire deck is only 14 rares, um, which really isn't too bad, especially because some of the cards will survive post-rotation. So a lot of you at this point are familiar with red deck. You're trying to kill them as quick as possible with early one drop creatures and an assortment of burn spells. This variation plays two distinct cards that we haven't seen in many other versions. So Aaron, who is the winner, is playing Chandra Spitfire, four of. So this is a three mana, one three flyer. And whenever an opponent is dealt non-combat damage, Spitfire gets plus three O till the end of turn. So we can basically shock our opponent response if a Chain Whirler comes in, uh, Fanatical Firebrand if we sack it. So there's a whole bunch of combinations of ways we can deal this additional non-combat damage to our opponent to power this up. We also have Ember Hauler. So Ember Hauler is a 2-2 two, two for 2, and we can pay a mana and sacrifice it to deal 2 damage to any target. Uh, so this is being played in place of Vyashino Pyromancer, uh, the 2-mana two 2-1 two wizard that when it comes in deals 2 damage to target player or planeswalker. So this is really good against mono red, um, you could basically choose your creatures, removal, stuff like that. So it's a pretty flexible option. So we have two things here. Um, of note, this variation of the deck, we're not playing via Vyashino Pyromancer, as I mentioned. We're also not playing Wizard's Lightning, just because we've cut down to only four Wizards in the deck. We are playing three Skewer the Critics, and in terms of card advantage, it's only one Experimental Frenzy main. Uh, there's no Chandra's, and all the other Experimental Frenzies are in the sideboard. The sideboard itself, we have three Fry, uh, first, like the blue or white matchups, four lava coils, so just a bunch of removal. Chandra is good pressure against like control decks or slower decks. Um, and then we have Tybalt versus the life gain decks, and then four frenzies for the grind matchups. So I'm going to play this through a couple uh, ranked matches just so you get a feel for how it is. Should be quick these games, thankfully. That's what I like about mono red. Um, so this is a good variation. It's a good way to kind of learn. I like playing mono red. I'm of that camp. I prefer the mono red to mono blue. It forces your opponent to do stuff. You can't dirtle against mono red or you're dead. Um, so one thing I want to see here is I like the four mana Chandra. Uh, we need lands. Okay, we'll keep this. Put back a land. We're likely to draw another one. Um, so here, I think I'm going to play out the Firebrand. So the reason here is Vyashino comes down later in the game with haste, and at this point we can't really do the two damage. Okay, so opponent's got some bad mana going on, perhaps, with the check lands. This is a way we punish our opponent for slow starts, so if they can't kind of break out of this shell. So if they're dropping like an explore creature now, they're two turns behind potentially, where we've already played two spells. Okay, so they cast down here. So light up the stage is good here. Hopefully draws us into another land. Uh, here... I think we just go Lava Runner here. Firebrand can turn on the Skewer if need be. They have Cryocarnarium. Okay, Risen Reef. A land would be great here. It's a Chain Whirler. Uh, so here... Hmm. Skewer optimizes the damage. I do want to get Risen Reef off the table though. So they're unlikely to block with Risen Reef. It's 
So we'll just pass the turn here. We can respond to the Risen Reef ETB. Yeah. It's too much card advantage for them. Okay, so they missed the land as well. We are... So here... I think we just passed the turn. We'll lightning strike this same way. If they don't drop uh, another elemental, we'll just lightning strike them in the face. Uh, I think we let this resolve. We need to get rid of the wild growth walker. The life gain will be worse if they have an explore creature. So we'll get rid of wild growth here. So they likely have a cast down here. Uh, so here, let's just play Lava Runner. We'll attack with both. Hit them for two, unless they decide to block. So we actually have them lethal next turn by just sacking the Ember Hauler with the Lightning Strike. Crisis does provide him a buffer. Okay, so they do block. Put him to one here. So they need another Crisis to stay alive. Fine, I'm not sure if they've read. Alright, got him there. Get him, got him good. So in this matchup, we're gonna bring in Tybald. We're gonna bring in the Frenzies. And probably the Lava Coils. Uh, coming out... Hmm. Probably the Skewer the Critics and the Spitfires seem bad against Krasis decks. What else do we want? Ember Haulers aren't bad for additional reach. We'll probably get rid of those. I like the one drops, the good early pressure. We want all the removal versus their creatures. Maybe shave down to three frenzies, cut down two haulers, run it back like this. There may be rationale to bring in Fry if they go up, if we see like Yarek, but we'll have to see what they come out with. Mm, this hand's... We're on the draw. I think we try it. So we really need to hit a land next turn. Might have been greedy. Yeah. We're in trouble now. 
Yeah. So I think we just passed the turn here. So I think we're punished this game. Might have a chance if they miss. They're missing blue. We're casting spells, but nothing good. If they have like a Jade Light Ranger here, but I feel like they'd play the Jade Light Ranger if they had it. Opponent is giving us a chance to come back. I'm gonna do this now so we can start hitting him for damage. Next turn we'll drop a steam can. Alright, well opponents out of cards. And they've used three removal spells. Okay, awesome. Do this now, turn off any incidental life gain. If we draw another land next turn, we can really go off. Okay, so Risen Reef. There. So lightning strike them. And this is where the deck, like they're struggling to have blue mana. Yeah, they concede. We would have double ember hollered next turn too and then pretty much reset. All right, ranking up uh, the easy way. Run it back for one more. KSP Gigabyte. <laughs> KSP Gigabyte. So play first. You were already winning with Mono Red. Um, it's a lot of lands, but we'll try it out. Like, if we could draw no more lands for the rest of the game, that'd be great. Usually, I like to keep a hand with something like Light Up the Stage for like a card advantage engine. But looks like opponent mulliganed on the play. This hand will be interesting to test out the Spitfire. Mm, this could be a couple things. This can be the... So the mono green Tron decks, like the mono green uh, Planeswalker decks, have been playing a lot of these incidental lands because they play the um, the zombie land or this could just be a budget deck all right let's see how good phoenix or spitfire is are you phoenix you're an elemental okay this is Teamer Elementals. So we can shock them to deal... 6 damage. But I think we wait a turn. I want to see... Like if they have something like an Omnath or something, I want to get it off the field. Shade light, that's fine. Living Twister. I think we're still winning that race. 
Cool. We got Ember Hauler. Um, here I think. Oh, that wasn't dumb of me. That was a misplay. Should have played out the Ember Hauler first. So I can hit him for two, then hit him for a bit. Hopefully no explore creature. Okay, that resolves. Opponent is stabilizing. We do need something. That's not really something. Just pass the turn here. Uh, they got Domri. Okay, so they're ramping here. Yeah, okay. We ran out of cards there. Alright, so Tybalt's, couple frenzies, lava coils, I don't think I want fry, uh, the spitfires are good because the ground's going to get blocked up, firebrand, this matchup, they have lightning strike, they have shock, we're on the play, so it's not as bad. Uh, cut, probably cut the skewers. Cut the ember haulers, I think. Cut a couple steamkins. The ground's gonna get blocked up pretty quick. Let's try it like this. Might be wrong. Play first, keep. So this just might be teamer, like, good stuff with the slight elemental package. Okay, so it looks like we're going the triple lava runner opener. Probably end up lava coiling whatever they play. Wild Growth Walker down here would be good, a nice target. Okay, that can be a shock. Looks like it's that. All right, opponent, shock. Hit some for two, get down Tybalt. Okay, so hopefully they whiff on this. Okay, wild growth. Actually not bad. Um, so let's just shock this. I want to keep this for a little bit more value to catch him on something. There was a plate of lava coil there, but... Okay, so we get to catch them. Here, this also makes these more powerful. So next turn, if we draw a land, we can frenzy or just drop a chain whirler. Ah. Uh. 
does get him back in it. Um, let's see if we can get him to block poorly. Second wild growth coming down. Hopefully they don't have another jade light. That hurts. And a branch walker. No blocks here. Hmm. Same idea. Let's see if we can get him for some bad blocks. Gain six off this. Jeez. They've gr drawn like every explore creature they've got. Hit us for 12. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. Frenzy doesn't really do it this turn. That'll No attacks. So we take two here. Kill that. Hit that. Let's see if they have a follow up. You would have been useful a couple turns ago. So we're dead to like any burn spell in their deck. Omnath. To build at least create some blockers. All right, opponent got us. So I just wanted to do a quick one. Played against two variations of an elemental deck just to get a feel for it. Um, this is a pretty cheap budget deck, something you can consider if you're just getting started. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below if I miss sideboarded or anything. And I'll be back shortly with another one of the budget build series. Thanks for watching and have a great one.